Coming up, in this video, you will learn how to customize your WordPress login page using Beaver Builder. Every WordPress website has a login page. You can access this page by adding forward slash admin, forward slash login, or forward slash WP admin to the end of your website's address. The problem is that the default WordPress login page is really pretty basic. The good news is that you can easily create a custom WordPress login page that looks professional and offers a much better user experience using Beaver Builder and PowerPack. Here's how to customize your WordPress login page. First, we will create a new page. Next, we will customize the login page using Beaver Builder. And lastly, we will set the custom login page using PowerPack. Before we begin, we will want to be sure that we have both the Beaver Builder page builder and PowerPack for Beaver Builder plugins installed and activated on our WordPress site. Last week, I shared with you how to use PowerPack's maintenance mode feature and Beaver Builder templates to create a custom coming soon landing page. Just in case you missed it, I will link up to the video in the description below. What I love about PowerPack is that you can easily extend the power of the Beaver Builder page builder for a fully custom website without the need for a lot of extra plugins and without the need to code. Let's begin by creating a new page. Log in to your WordPress admin dashboard, go to pages and click on add new and give your new page a title. In this example, I will simply call it login page. Note that we will want to remove the default header and footer because we only want to display the content area that we are going to design in the next step. This process will vary depending upon which theme you have installed. In this example, we have the Beaver Builder theme installed so we can easily disable the header and footer. In the upper right hand corner, click on the settings icon. Next, make sure that you have page attributes box selected and scroll down to template. Choose no header and footer from the list. Go ahead and click save draft or publish to save your changes. Next, click the launch Beaver Builder button to open up the Beaver Builder front end editor. Now that we have created the login page, the next step is to customize it. Beaver Builder is a very flexible and powerful tool, so you have almost limitless options when it comes to customizing the look and feel of your login page. If you would like to learn more about what you can do with Beaver Builder, I would encourage you to check out our Getting Started video series, and of course, I'll leave a link in the description below. But what I love even more is that I don't have to start building my login page from scratch if I don't want to. To keep things simple, in this example, we're going to use a beautiful pre-built login page template. If you have PowerPack Pro like we do in this example, you'll have access to over 350 plus Beaver Builder templates. To get access to them, you will go to settings in your WordPress dashboard and click on PowerPack. Choose templates to see all of the available designs. You can hover over any of the designs and click on the preview button to open up a preview of the design. When you find a design that you like, go ahead and click on activate from our WordPress dashboard. Click on pages, all pages. And when you hover over the title of your page, click on the Beaver Builder link to open up the editor. And in the upper right hand corner, go ahead and click on templates from the group drill down arrow. You will now see the option to choose power pack layouts. Here you will see the design that you just activated. Go ahead and click on the design and it will be added to your page layout. If at any time you prefer to start from scratch, you can do that as well. Simply click on the plus button. From the templates tab, click on landing pages and choose blank. Click on OK to start with a blank page. For me, I love using a template. It gives me a quick starting point. It makes my design process go so much faster. For that reason, I am going to use the PowerPack template. Now we can update the modules on the page by selecting each of them individually and replacing the content with our own. Once you finish up, Go ahead and click done and publish in the upper right hand corner to save and publish your page. Now that we have finished creating and designing our page, all that's left to do is set our new page as the default WordPress login page. 
From the WordPress admin panel, go to settings, click on power pack. Here we want to click on the login register tab. And from the login page drop down menu, select our new login page. Note that you can also follow this exact same process to set up a custom registration page. You would simply choose your page from the registration page drop down. In case you'd like more information about creating a custom registration page, I will link up to an article in the description below. Don't forget to click save changes. Now let's take a look at our new login page. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.